What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pances. If it's your first time tuning in, please be sure to smash that subscribe button. If not, thanks for your continued support. Today I am with a 2018 Mercedes-Benz E400 Cabriolet. My father decided to pick this car up a couple weeks ago. I haven't done any video on it yet, but today we're going to do a quick review on it and actually take the Draggy app and see what kind of 0-60 to 60 times this 3.0 dual turbocharged engine puts out there. It's an all-wheel drive for Matic, which is good for this northeast. And obviously, if you guys can see, it's got uh, a beautiful, uh, beautiful paint job, beautiful condition. I actually just did um, ceramic coating on the car for him today for Father's Day because this video is going live on Father's Day. So I figured I'd help him out, hook it up with a quick detail. You guys can see how beautiful this paintwork is on this Mercedes-Benz pretty fantastic this car is in good shape only 20,000 miles on the car which is the way we like to buy them you guys can see it's got the cream and br dark brown leather interior all across it is absolutely stunning this car is actually fully loaded it's got everything in it it's got the heads up this uh, heads up display driver's assist everything it's fully loaded uh, I think MSRP on this car was around a hundred thousand when this thing was brand new so obviously we don't, uh, we don't like to buy them that way, which is the way we do it. But there you guys have it. A little quick walk around tour. That was electronic if I wanted it to be. Um, back inside here, you guys can see like the nice trim pieces, the, the top of the line sound system, heated and cooled seats. This thing's got it all, guys. It's just absolutely incredible. And uh, so yeah, nice leather interior. Pretty clean, did a nice detail. So you guys have it real quick under the hood is the 3.0 V6 with two turbos. Produces somewhere in the, I think it's around 325 or 326 horsepower. It's uh, pretty peppy. I think the way the transmission is geared, it, it actually properly, it, the way it delivers the power and, and the way it's geared is, is really nice. It's like no matter where you are, that RPM just jumps right up and actually executes a good power delivery. I mean, you could feel the car's weight a little bit, being the fact that it is a Mercedes-Benz. Obviously, we have a soft touch close on here, but you know, you're used to closing the door. And then inside again, like I said, fully loaded. Thing's incredible. Just everything is just super nice. Navigation. So there we go. Climbing control has like that air freshener thing, which obviously is turned off right now. I thought we had it on a little low setting. So anyways, let's hop into this. Uh, follow her on Instagram, Iron Jello. I'll link his Instagram in the description. He had sent me a while ago a draggy app. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up and we'll do some zero to 60 times on this car and see what it can do. If uh, Depending on traffic and time, and conditions of the road maybe we could pull off a quarter mile and uh give give this thing the beans so but yeah it's uh not designed for speed but uh more comfort comfort but we'll, we'll give this thing a whirl all right guys so before we get hopping into this i'm just kind of looking at the leadership board on my local area for other mercedes benz and for instance like uh 2019 e63 is 2.69 seconds to 60. We got uh, another 2018, 289 seconds to 60. So uh, let's see what this thing can do for the four cell, or excuse me, for the six owner twin turbo charge. Obviously a little bit different of a setup, I would believe on tuning and stuff. So it'd be kind of interesting to see. And uh, so let's hop into this. I'm gonna, hopefully this, hopefully this reads. So let's rock it out. This guy's seriously waiting behind me, of course. Why would he? not assume all right so we're gonna put this thing in dynamic mode let's see put it in sport plus all right this guy's following me around all right interesting I can notice a little bit of a different difference in the shift on the transmission it's keeping the rpms up which is cool 
All right, so I'm just gonna hit reset on my app and uh, give this thing the beans. Ready? Three, two, one. Fuji. Sixty. So sixty seconds. Five point six five. Not bad. Not bad. I think. I think my. Uh, I think the Jaguar was a little bit faster. So yeah, let's uh, let's find an area here. Maybe we can capture a quarter mile. Let's see. All right, so I'm at a red light. Let's uh, reset this again. See what happens. And. Again, 60, 5.69 seconds. So it's pretty consistent. And uh, we're gonna go see what we can do on a quarter mile time. Quarter mile. Anyways, uh, while I get to that location, I figured we might as well chat with the car. Uh, this thing is absolutely a pleasure to drive. Obviously, it's one of the best luxury cars on the market for being the fact that it's Mercedes. Uh, it is a, it's a pleasure to drive. The, the, the smell inside the car is great with the incense. You can turn it on and off different levels. Uh, I have it on a low setting because I don't prefer it too much, but a little bit's nice. It kind of gives that rich feeling in the car, so it's, it's nice. Seats are really comfortable uh, compared to the previous generation. The, the last Mercedes my dad had, the seats were like really hard and firm. Honestly, the most uncomfortable car to be in. I never really enjoyed driving it for a long distance. Uh, obviously around town it was always fun to whip around it was rear wheel drive and it had all of the the good performance for a nice 3.5 liter v6 right but in terms of uh comfort it was it wasn't comfortable but this car on the other hand is comfortable very comfortable and obviously has a lot more tech and uh yeah freaking thrilled can't really say anything more Sport Plus mode, I noticed the transmission shifting, keeping the RPMs high, actually closer to like the 3,000 mark. So the power is like constantly, tor like very torquey. It's like right there. Downshifting automatically with the brakes, which is kind of cool for sport mode. So uh, yeah, I mean, the thing's, fucking, the thing's freaking sweet. I uh, never took a turn too hard with this thing because it's, you know, it's like it feels really heavy for, for what this is, but all right, let's see what the highway looks like here. Maybe we can capture, capture some times. It seems very busy, as it probably assuming it would be, right? Yeah, it's very busy. Give me a few minutes here. I'll be right back. try this again guys the uh, highway is pretty busy though so let's see if I can quarter pull, off, mile. pull off a quarter mile let's see I'm gonna just pull over here there's nobody around me man it's tough let's see super busy holy smokes really busy out there See if I can capture a break in this. <sighs> Alright, let's just give it the beans and go. Oh, there's a car. Read a quarter mile at 3.8. I left off, left, let up obviously, probably a second before. I would give this a good 12 second quarter mile no, run. Mile. That's probably what I'd give that. I ran out of space though. Freaking busy roads. So, anyways, we did uh, 0 to 60 again, 5.79.
So it's pretty consistent between 5.6 and 5.8. Obviously the engine's warmed up a little bit now. And uh, maybe I just didn't have such a good launch there. But yeah, pretty, pretty good times for a luxury Cabriolet, right? Uh, again, not racing this thing around by any means, but I figured it'd be fun give you guys a good demonstration so all in all this car is sweet it is not built for power but it is built for comfort luxury and everything that that brings so and it, it, it it's done a great job so that is my introduction to you the e400 mercedes you guys can see with the with the sport plus how the car continues to deliver the power i just tap the gas and there's torque right there. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. I still prefer, prefer my Jaguar. I think it's Jaguar is a little bit faster. In fact, my father and I have done a head-to-head -head race at zero to 60 uh, on uh, off camera, obviously. And obviously demolished him on that. But again, for what this car is, it's perfect for what it offers. And uh, I wouldn't have it any other way. And uh, all in all, it's got high marks in my book. Um, nothing really to complain about. Things sick. So anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you guys want more Mercedes-Benz co uh, content, please go ahead and smash a comment down in the comment section and smash the like button. And uh, we can do some more reviews, more videos, more content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.